Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. This channel is about lots of projects and different cars, mopeds and alike. And I know through the last few months, I haven't really gotten anything new, which is really rare for my channel. So it's about time to do something about that. Yes, I know I have the Metro, the Datsun, the Saab, the Princess, the C25, the Mahari, the Lada, the A112 Abbott, but that's only eight projects. And it's always so difficult to remember how many I got. So I have decided to up that count to 10 because it's really easy to remember 10. If you are a Patreon, you will know that I made a small guessing contest a while back about the project car that was coming in. It was a car that I was given by a viewer. A lot of you in there guessed what it was and I actually revealed a little picture of it. But this is not it. This is another one. This one came out of nowhere after I made the last Mahari video. A viewer from Denmark who also helped me with the head, with the Solana head on the C25 and actually saved my vacation in the summertime, wrote to me that he had some special tools that I could, that I could borrow for the Mahari project. And I tend to always ask if people have something interesting standing around. And he said, yeah, he, he got a pretty interesting car that he didn't really want to fix because he had too many projects going on. And I don't know what that is. I have no idea what it means to have too many projects. Not yet. So uh, he actually gave this to me. So this is actually a free car. He even delivered it to me, which is really, really awesome. Thank you for that. But none of you know what this is because I haven't told you anything about this one on Patreon. I was offered this under a week ago and today it arrived. I know absolutely nothing about it. I can see that it's really rough. I can see that it's going to take a long time. I would really like to finish some of the other projects up before I get started on this, but now it's here. And it's not going to go anywhere before I fix it up so it can at least start and drive because there's no way of getting out of this driveway without engine power unless you pull it with something because it's pretty steep out there. So I need to get this working. So very soon I will show you this car and I will get it to run, I hope. If not, then I won't really be able to work on anything else. So, But I thought it could be fun to make a little guessing contest like I have done so many times before about what this is. If you are a car enthusiast, you will most likely notice the color. This color is supposed to be red and it always looks like this. That's a pretty big clue actually, because yeah. Another clue will, which is going to make it a bit more difficult is that this car is a 4x4. And if I should give it a name, which I don't really do, I have nothing against people giving car names. It's just not for me. But if I was to give it a name that could be a good clue for you guys also, I would call it Beef Tomato. I can't wait to show you this car for real. I've just pushed it into the garage today. It was a big deal. It came slightly apart while doing that, so <laughs> it was really difficult. But uh, I can't wait to actually dig in and see what kind of a mess that I have gotten myself into. Anyway, I will send a couple of stickers to the first comment who can guess what this car is. And I'm not just looking for the model name, I'm also looking for the, uh, for the edition because it's really special. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.